Hi guys, Sir Ian here. So my second vlog is all about snails law. Snails law is a topic in optics, and optics is a branch of science in physics, pala, that deals with the, with the study of light. Um, study of angle of refraction angle tapos incident ray and so many more okay so sa Snell's law meron tayong tinatawag na angle of reflection usually ang angle of reflection uh, ang symbol na makikita mo yan yung angle theta sa trigonometry or sa advanced algebra okay ang tawag natin dyan ay angle of reflection angle of reflection so ang topic natin ay Snell's law So, yun ang ating topic ngayon. Then, sa Snell's Law, meron pa yung tinatawag na Index of Refraction. Index of Refraction. Usually, ang ginagamit dyan na sign or simbolo ay small n. Okay. So, pag-aralan natin muna natin yung iba't ibang parte. Okay. So let's say for example in a glass. So na ha glass to. Meron tayong tinatawag na incident ray. Tin tinatawag natin incident ray. Okay. So ang if the incident ray hits to the surface of the glass, no? nagkakaroon ng tinatawag natin na reflected ray reflected ray okay now, now ano naman ang gitna ito naman tinatawag natin na normal ray okay take note take note that in Snell's law the angle of the incident ray is always well equal to the angle of the reflected ray. Okay. Ngayon, nagkakaroon niya ng tinatawag natin na transmuted ray. Tumatago siya. So, this is the transmuted ray. Okay. So, sa transmuted ray, there, nagkakaroon, there, there is a certain degree na nababalik ko or nabibend yung ray from incident ray going to transmuted ray. Okay. So, mamaya malalaman natin yan kung paano yung kinukompute. Okay. So, in, in computing the the angle of in, the angle of reflection and the and the and the index of refraction we will use the equation or the formula in Snell's law ang formula niyan ay ganito index of refraction sub 1 sine angle theta sub 1 equals index of refraction sub 2 then sine angle theta sub 2 ok so ito ang formula na ginagamit sa Snell's law so, in this formula, makakagawa tayo ng iba't ibang formula dyan, or here. 
depende kung ano ang given okay so let's now have a uh, sample problem so meron na tayong sample problem dito a beam of light strikes one face of a window pen with an angle of incidence of 30 degree the index of refraction of the glass is 1.52 the beam travels through the glass and merges from a parallel face on the opposite side okay sabi dito ignore reflections now we were asked to find the angle of reflection for the for the ray inside the glass then show that the rays in in air on either side of the glass are parallel to each other so meron tayong dalawang hinahanap gamit ang problem na to and then tatandaan nyo lagi na kapag mas malaki ang index of refraction lumiliit ang angle of reflection again kapag tumataas or lumalaki ang index of refraction lumiliit naman ang angle of reflection so tatandaan nyo yun so based on the problem meron tayong given okay may given may required may equation dapat na tayong gagamitin solution then answer din muna tayo sa given sa given nakalagay doon na ang ating uh, ang ating unang index of refraction ay 1.00 then yung pangalawa naman nating index of refraction ay 1.52 yung una naman nating angle of reflection ay 30.0 Okay, so sabi dito, find the angle of reflection for the ray inside the glass. So meaning to say, inside the glass, yung pangalawa na angle of reflection ang hinahanap natin. So ito yung missing. So gamit itong formula na ito, we can easily, we can easily identify this missing angle of reflection. Okay, you just have to manipulate the formula. Okay, so ang magiging formula natin ngayon ay sine angle theta sub 2 is equal to n1 n2 times sine angle theta sub 1 So ito ngayon ang gagamitin nating equation para mahanap ang hinahanap natin Okay So sin angle theta sub 2 is equal ano yung n1 natin 1.00 ano yung n2 natin 1.52 tapos ang Q1 naman natin ay sine ang Q1 natin ay 30.0 degree okay now usually class sa mga problem solving in some uh, in most problem solving in physics uh, we use scientific calculator in order for us to arrive the solution easily. Kasi kung walang scientific calculator, it's very hard for us, especially in physics, where in kailangan natin ng mga values. Let's say, for example, um, yung sa trigonometric function, kapag gagamitin mo yung, yung sine, cosine, yung ganun, kailangan gagamit tayo ng scientific calculator. Okay. So, para mas mabilis, 1.00 divided by 1.52 equals times 
sine 30.0 degree 30.0 degree equals 0 0.3289 Sine angle theta sub 2 is equal to 0 0.3289. Okay? Ito makikita mo nyo for decimal point siya. Ngayon, nung susunod, ayan na. Paano naman to makukonvert into degree? Ito ang technique natin dyan. Susundan natin kung ano yung pinakamadaling intindihin. Una, we are going to divide both side, no? Both side by sine. Divide natin both side by sine. Okay. So, since ito sila, pareha sila, ikakancel natin yan. Ang matitira ay Q or angle theta sub 2 is equal to ayan. So, since ang sine natin ay denominator, Para maging numerator yan, itataas natin yan, magiging sine negative 1, 0.3289. So, nagkaroon siya ng negative sine kasi ang ginawa natin kay sine, itinaas natin. Okay? So, ngayon, an paano ba ito makukonvert into degree? Gagamit tayo ulit ngayon ng scientific calculator. Okay? Ngayon, kapag gagamit kayo ng scientific calculator, it's very important for you to familiarize, to know the different function of each case. Kasi, hindi madali gumamit ng scientific calculator kung hindi mo alam gamitin. Okay? Ang una natin gagawin, pipindutin mo yung shift. Shift, sign. Ayan, kaparehas na, di ba? Kaparehas na siya sa dito. Then, input mo lang yung 0 0.3289. 0 0.8289. Equals. ay mali tayo, mali tayo wait lang, wait lang shift, sign 0 0.3289 equals 19.2 degree so ang ating Q2 ay at I mean, angle sub 2 ay 19.2 degree. So, ito ngayon ang sagot sa hinahanap natin na na angle of reflection for the ray inside the glass. So, ito ngayon ang sagot. 